Valentino giving me suits, gangster suits. On no one since then, you you did get the opportunity to check out the All Eyes on Me movie. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, so w what was your thoughts on it after you seen it? Well, I mean, like most people that knew him, I didn't watch it for entertainment. I just watched it to see, um, you know, just to get my opinion on it personally, instead of just judging it from, you know. A standpoint of, of, of you know uh, business even though don't get me wrong I'm not a part of the family you know what I mean anything that I say is not no way connected you know what I mean legally to, to their thoughts you know what I mean so let's just get that out the way first and foremost because you know it's a lot of fuck boys over at Morgan Creek it's a gag order from the family you know what I mean? Mm. And they really can't speak. You know what I mean? They they can't speak whether they like the movie. They can't speak whether they don't like the movie. But I can't say 1,000% no cut. The family is not supporting the movie. And they wasn't supporting the movie from day one. A family was even sued by Morgan Creek. And like I said, a gag order was put on her to where she couldn't speak about anything. And ultimately, you know... In, in, in the light of all of that, you know, she passed away. Right. Now, anybody that has a mother, auntie, sister, cousin, you know what I mean, and, and, and they're going through some legal problems or anything to do with their child or losing a child or, 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 or financial woes of any sort at, at that age could, could potentially kill you. Right. Stress could kill you. So, you know what I mean? I'm taking all this into consideration. Pac was a friend of mine. His, his, his little cousin, Katari, you know what I mean? With, uh, you know, Kay Castro from the Outlaws, that's a friend of mine. His brother Bill is a friend of mine. When I got my head bust in Atlanta, you know, their mother, which is a Phoenix sister, came over there and made sure we was cool. I mean, you know what I mean? Looked out for it. Man, listen, my, my, my lineage with the Outlaws you know what I mean? And, and Tupac and the family goes way deeper than music. You feel me? That's what a lot of people don't understand. I've really been around these people, not in the studio, not just a few times, not a few weekends, like moving to Atlanta. You know what I mean? Like moving places. You know what I mean? This shit is, is deep to my soul to where, you know, I never had a, 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 a I never had intentions after Pac died to get money off of his name. For me, I was always getting money elsewhere. When I met the niggas, I was already in Cube's group caution. You feel me? I didn't come in the game by, by chance. You feel me? I didn't come in the game, you know, because by default. You know, a lot of these niggas come in the game by default. They don't earn their spot. You feel me? I have to earn my spot. You don't know a nigga who you, every great nigga I just happen to be around them. They happen to just go in their pocket and invest in a nigga and put, like, come on, you feel me? Right. The whole problem with Gonzo was this. I always had a problem with telling the truth. And in this industry, that's going to always get you blackballed. Niggas, you're going to lose deals. You're going to offend a lot of people and rub a lot of fucking... Ruffle a lot of feathers. Rub a lot of people the wrong way. Because this game is not built on a stack of truth. This shit is built on a stack of fucking lies. So when a nigga like me come around, it's bad for business. You mm. feel me? So I had to build my own company. Do everything my own, my, you know. But here's the thing what these young niggas don't know. This shit ain't about stardom, nigga. This shit is about longevity. And I've been here getting money. You feel me? Since hundreds had the little faces on them, nigga. So... You know, we're not going to talk about financial gain. You feel me? When it comes to me, this shit is about principle. You feel me? Principle. When it comes to this Tupac shit. All that other shit, you feel me, nigga? Making fun of motherfuckers and shit. Nigga, them is just jokes. I could give two fucks about them. them who, you know what I mean? These motherfuckers that's on the charts and blouses and all that. We'll, we'll get to that. But the Tupac shit, nigga, we speaking on some family shit. We, we speaking on... Noble and Edie stealing. Let's, we ain't even gonna go to the movie. Let's just go back, nigga. 
We're going to go back to Big Psych. We're going to go back to, you know, Storm. We're going to go back to these niggas selling Thug Life merchandise when he didn't even know Pac then. He has no right to sell Thug Life merchandise. We're going to go back to Fatal not having a headstone. These niggas put up a GoFundMe page. Then afterwards, he wants to scramble and start giving Fatal Girl a little money here, a little money there. Because niggas is talking. But in actuality, this nigga's the reason that you even around, nigga. I was in the car with Edie, Pac, Yak, Fatal, all of the outlaws, Napoleon, and Castro. We was on our way to Snoop House to play this fucking basketball game. You know what I mean? Mm. Snoop and Pop had some shit that they needed to discuss. Let's just leave it at that. And we went, and, and, and it was an outlaw against the dog pound basketball game. None of us could play basketball. Nigga, Qaddafi could. You know what I mean? Hella tall, nigga, whatever. So we like, <coughs> basically, <coughs> nigga, <coughs> we finna get slaughtered. So Pop like, nigga, you ain't got no, you, like, guys, you ain't got no homeboys out here to play basketball? I'm like, yeah, I do. But by this time, nigga, we in, you know, the uh, in an empire somewhere. Snoop lived in Claremont or some shit at that time. So Qaddafi and them was like, nigga, we got a nigga out here that lived on the block, Mr. Wendell, who uh, he could play basketball a little bit. And Pop like, what? Where this nigga at? They like, uh, we gonna call him. He ended up being in Rancho Cucamonga at his sister's house. Now, the lie that this nigga's telling everybody, and he's been telling motherfuckers that Qaddafi and, and, and Fatal picked him up in a limo, and nigga, that's a fucking lie, and you know it, nigga. Nobody picks you up in a fucking limo. You was picked up from your sister's house, and your mother, her name's Bird, nigga, I remember the day. You came out and hopped in a fucking... Van, I mean, in the suburban, Pops Green Suburban, and met everybody right there except fucking Fatal and and uh, Moo probably knew you a little bit, but uh, nigga, the, the Montclair niggas, the niggas from New Jersey from Montclair, them the only niggas that know you, and all the way there, Pop asking who you is, nigga, they explaining that you a nigga that sit in the window all day that they call Mr. Window. If I'm lying, nigga, God strike me down, ask Edie, fat fucker, and ask any other nigga that's in the outlaws, what was your fucking nickname? Mr. Window. Why do they call a nigga Mr. Window? Because he sits in the window all day and watches hustle. Oh, yeah, the nigga cut hair. So Pop's like, fuck all that. Can the nigga play basketball? They like, yeah, we picked the nigga up and know who stayed in the car from that day. That's how the nigga got around the outlaw situation, not from rapping and whatever the fuck he tell y'all is a motherfucking fairy tale. Mm. Mm. Straight up, nigga. Nigga's a fraud. Now, let's go back to this nigga stealing money from Castro. Let's go back to that. And I ain't talking some shit I heard, nigga. You feel me? I talk to these niggas every day. I think, you know, the nigga number's still on my call list from when I talk to him. Put it like that, nigga. Mm. And I get a lot of phone calls. So, the niggas was, you know, this was, you know, and, and we're going to give all praise due to Allah, man. Castro don't drink no more. I don't drink no more. But, nigga, we used to get fucked up. Niggas couldn't afford to drink how we drink. You feel me, nigga? We didn't drink cheap shit. We drinking bottles of Hennessy one after another, bottles of champagne one after another. I'm talking about... Five or six hundred dollars a day. Every day niggas put up money, nigga, go to the liquor store before we eat, nigga. I'm talking about drinkers. Because mm -hmm. niggas was going through some shit. You niggas, see, the average motherfuckers, they don't hear judging the nigga, this nigga, that nigga. That. But niggas ain't never, you know, selling a, a pack, I done done that. Tripping on a bitch, I done done that. You know, whatever you done done in the streets, nigga, I done done that. And then... Everything that you're trying to do, I've done that too with the great, with the great ones. And now imagine them niggas start getting plucked off. Them niggas start arguing with each other. Nigga, all you trying to do is get in and, and where you fit in. But you get into a situation, nigga, and niggas is getting died. Niggas is committing suicide. Niggas is getting killed. Niggas is bitching up. Nigga, every situation is happening around you. Nigga was drinking. 
period. This is what I'm saying. But we don't drink no more. You feel me? But while a nigga was drinking, Noble, the same nigga who, you know, sold his own mother crack. Now, if a nigga sell his own mama crack, this is the nigga that we talking about stealing from his friends. The nigga who sell his own mother drugs, nigga. Yeah, the nigga who served his own mother. And the nigga, I sold rocks before. Niggas who sell rocks, no, it's a rule. You don't sell to your mama or a pregnant bitch. Any nigga that do that, you's a foul nigga. You will go in a nigga booty hole if you sell, you know what I mean, if you sell work to your mama. Anyway, wow, this nigga, you know, Castro in Atlanta, you know what I mean, they working on the outlaw shit. It's three of them. It may even be a, a John Silver album, if I'm not correct. Shout out to John Silver out, out of Seattle. Mm. Shout out to all my Seattle niggas. You know what I mean, all my niggas in the North. Uh, Valentino giving me suits, gangster suits.